Hey guys, Rusty K here, coming to you from Rusty K's Rad Rods Garage. Little update here on the um, uh, Hunter Selby Build Along series. Um, this is, I'm going to call it the good, the bad, and the ugly, I guess. So, um, remember when I told you guys that uh, uh, when I was beginning this, I was going to have two of these kits in case I made any, mistake, any mistakes. So, the second kit came in today. You don't have double vision. There's two kits. And uh, we're going to thank God that it did. Um, the reason why is I have to redo this engine. Um, I did not pay attention to the directions. And I didn't pay attention to Hunter when he was talking about um, putting... Oops. Let me get that piece. Um, putting the cylinder heads on, right? So... When I put these on, I put them on backwards. Now, it didn't seem like a big thing at the time because I didn't realize it until I went to go put the water crossover on. Um, and you can see I do have this detail a little bit in the chrome. I did the, the Model Master chrome and the, the Vallejo red hosing, so I don't know if you can see that very well, but that's detailed up. So I went to go sort of dry fit this in here and it wasn't working right. I was having to stretch it out. I'm like, something doesn't seem right. You know, what did I do wrong? Realized I had these backwards because if you look this way, this seeds perfectly where it's supposed to be, but it's on the back side of the engine. So, engine number two. Pieces cleaned up, sanded down, mold lines taken out, glued back together the proper way. So now my water line crossover will sit exactly where it's supposed to. It's not going to sit level yet until I, until I glue it. But that's supposed to sit exactly like it's supposed to now. So the good part is I'm going to use this engine. And I did get my, in today, my um, <clears throat> Model Masters aluminum non-buffing metalizer. Um, so I'm going to get to airbrush this onto this just to get some uh, some practice spraying the metalizer onto this, see how it looks. Um, this also allows me to, I worked on some heat staining with the blue and the yellow Tamiya. Um, after I chromed the Allied, or the Outclad chrome, um, it came out a little too green. I didn't mix it quite right. Um, so the heat staining, uh, it's okay. And, it, and if I didn't have to redo the engine, I'd be okay with that because, you know, I'm just practice makes perfect. Right. So I wish this was a little more blue. Um, so you can see it here as well. A little too much green, a little heavy. And I tried to go over with a little more blue to, to, to bring it out. But, um, you know, it, I'm okay with that. Even if I use this in the other kit, um, because it's the first time I tried to heat stain. So I'll be able to go back and redo these. So I'm going to have to go back and re out clad, um, uh, re the exhaust manifolds and reheat stain them. I did chrome, the out clad chrome, the, um, uh, the lift cam covers. So these are all chromed. I decided to do these in chrome. I was going to do aluminum, but I'll show you in a second. So that's uh, de chromed and then outclad base and then re-chromed with the outclad chrome. I think the outclad chrome gives it a deeper look. Here's the other one real quick. You can see, right? So then I also, on the, um, the intake plenum, I went ahead and did uh, outclad aluminum on this so it's not as shiny. And I may do a little dull coat on there. I'm not sure, just to make that a little duller. I am going to go over, this is, this is just de-chromed right here. This is not painted. This is what was under the chrome. So I'm probably going to shoot this in a flat black, take some of the sheen away from that, right? So that's done. And what else do I have done? You guys already saw the dry brushing on the fans. That's done. You can see just a hint of the stuff there, nothing major. So, you know, long story short, I got the second kit in and uh, it allows me to go back and fix some of the mistakes, but that's what this journey is all about, learning the process. You know, I need to pay more attention to 
uh, some of the steps before I, I get to gluing. It becomes permanent. But this is going to be, I'm going to shoot this in primer tonight, get that set up and get it going so then I can um, work on the uh, aluminum non-buffing metalizer on, and like I said, I'll practice on the other engine um, on this just to see how it looks and how it comes out. But other than that, I also would like to wish Todd H. a very happy birthday. Everybody, it's Todd H.'s birthday today. If you didn't already know that. So Todd, buddy, happy birthday. Hope you had a great day. I know you're three hours behind us over there in Oregon. So your night is still progressing. It is currently 8.42. So you've got, what, 5.42 over there um, in Oregon. So you're probably just getting home from work. So happy birthday, buddy. If you guys uh, don't know Todd H., go over to his uh, Hot Rod Love Nuts Hot Rod Garage, I believe is what his, his shop cards around here somewhere. I know him by Todd H., but uh, other than that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get to working, and I will have, I, I swear, one of these days this update will include a completed engine, but I just want to let you guys know the progress that's going on and some of the setbacks I'm having, but I'm having a blast doing this with some of the detail work that I'm not used to doing, um, so I will keep plugging along. Thanks, guys.